Hey guys, Nolan here. Today I got a short, quick video about core strength. But before we do that, why not hit the subscribe button and the bell so you are notified the moment I upload new content, hmm? Okay, so core strength. The term core is a new piece of lingo that has surfaced over the last 10 or so years. 20 years ago, you have never heard about the core. But since fitness has become such a staple recently, so many people have gravitated towards the term, especially equestrians. And we all know equestrians love their lingo. Okay, so you've heard the lingo. What does it mean? Engage your core? Honestly, it means to contract your abdomen muscles. Not to the point where you're holding your breath. Honestly, you should be able to Keep breathing comfortably, or hell, maybe even strike up a conversation. I'm doing it right now. If you have to, think that you're going to get punched in the stomach. And you're going to flex your abs to protect your organs. Congratulations, you just engaged your core. But how do we do this when riding and not become tight? That's the mystery, isn't it? But never fear, Nolan's here to give you a quick three-step trick that's going to make this a breeze. First step, we're lifting that diaphragm. In a previous video, we spoke about how to lift the diaphragm to get the shoulders back easily and comfortably. If you haven't seen that video, don't forget to give it a check out. Link is right there. And I'll link it down in the description. Definitely give it a check out. So now that you know how to lift the diaphragm, that's step one. Deep breath in. We'll get that diaphragm up. Now that's up there, now you're going to exhale that air. Almost think about riving it out your belly button. A little tip to people who have been trying to suck their gut in for I don't know, 20, 30 years. Um, yeah, we need to let that go. We need to push it completely out. And if you have completely pushed it all the way out, you'll also inevitably hit step three, which is sinking deeper in the saddle. So to recap, three steps. One, deep breath in. Two, blow out while contracting the abs. Three, naturally, you're in that saddle deeper. And that's how you engage your core when in the saddle. If you're too tight doing it, chances are your horse is going to let you know. When you do it correctly, you'll probably find that the horse's back meets your seat and you guys are rebalanced together. Ding, ding, I think you may have just done a half halt. Now I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of the term use engage your core in riding? In working out, it kind of makes sense because we're not doing major moves. They were doing a barbell curl, <laughs> engage your core to keep everything straight in the spine and alignment, and we just do this. It makes sense, but what happens when you do that while on a moving animal? Let me know what you guys think down below, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, as I've said before, and I'll say it again, it's a little thing, but it really does go a long way. And if you haven't already, why not hit the subscribe button and enjoy the little cruiser guild yourself. We have new videos up every week for your entertainment, but also to make this horse world make a bit more sense. And that's pretty much everything I've got for you guys today. All right, thank you so much for watching. I am Noel Michael Cruz, I'll talk to you later. Ciao!